even 19 years later, 9-11 is always a sad day in America, but also a great opportunity to reflect on the significance of all of us and the impact that we have on one another, not only in the U.S., but around the world. I was in high school in 9-11. I was a freshman, and I was in the lunchroom when they announced it over the loudspeaker that that the towers had been hit. And I remember my next class was history class and my jabroni history teacher made us do stupid book work while it was showing on the TV instead of actually speaking to us about the historical significance and impact that this was gonna have. History class. And even though it's embarrassing to admit, at the time I didn't understand the significance of what had just happened. And it wasn't until later when my family was asleep and I turned on the TV late at night that I realized like, wow, 2,000 people just died. But I just hope that our young brothers and sisters understand and that we can be eloquent enough to explain to them what they're really doing and saying when they say that we should defund the police and they burn private businesses and cities to the ground. Because on 9-11, at the ground level, two things were happening. There were people running out and there were people running in. And the people running in were the firefighters, the first responders, and the police. And although the police and the justice system is imperfect, to suggest that we should just defund the police because of a couple situations, isolated situations that through all available evidence seem somewhat justified, just seems uninformed. But I do think that it is important for all of us, people that are aware and awake to this, to not necessarily be mad at the young people for lashing out, but do the best that we can to open dialogue and conversations with them so that they learn the negative effects of what they're trying to do. So to suggest that police or all police are racist or bad or whatever else is a complete slap in the face to all the vast majority of amazing police officers that exist around this country that save people's life every day. Let's so all be aware that the news media is deceptive and it is extremely difficult to understand and see what is fact and is fiction. And when you are sifting through the hot pile of dungaroos that is the mainstream media, try to remember that not everything is what it seems. And it's coming at you fast. This is all of us. This is the mainstream media. Trump! Racism! Try to keep in mind that neither Trump, the right, the left, or slow Joe can save us. It is up to all of us talking, speaking, being active, not being part of the problem, but being part of the solution that will save us. And the deception and the lies, it is a full-time job to pay attention and stay aware of each individual thing. It's a, it's a pain in the ass. So either don't do it at all or do it with depth, but certainly don't speak on it if you don't do the research. Like when Joey Basement with his face stipe on in that speech he did the other day in Kenosha, Wisconsin, he was just like, we gotta tell facts. A black man invented the light bulb. You gotta tell facts. I was like, holy shit. Here's a fucking, here's a tidbit. No, he fucking didn't. Joey Basement with the fuck is a straight up lie. Like he's, he'll tell you in one breath, like we gotta tell facts and then tell you a supposed fact that's not a fucking fact. Like, yo, the deception is fucking crazy. You gotta pay attention to each little thing. And look, Trump is in real estate. You understand that like a lot of, as Ben Shapiro puts it, real estate is a lot of puffery. It's either the best greatest thing to ever exist or it's the worst hot piece of hot garbage. Words matter, but try to take into consideration the context. And you know who doesn't give you context? All of these hot garbanzo beans news, article, news, news outlets that just take a little snippet. Look, don't let yourself get emotional and react to something that's cut out of context. Watch the whole thing before you make a judgment. What's in the news today? A lot of the news articles about Trump are bullshit. A lot of these books that are written about him are like complete hot fucking garbage. These people are just trying to sell books. This shit about this Cuties movie, insane. I'm gonna take a little closer look at this, but I don't know until I pay attention. Gretchen Whitmer putting up a huge wall around her property when she says that she doesn't support the border wall. Rules for thee, but not for me. The mayor of Miami saying he's gonna wait until the vaccine before he opens the bars and restaurants. 150 CEOs in New York saying that Bill de Blasio needs to do his fucking job. Like, this shit is crazy. Joey Basement dogging Trump for calling him Slow Joe and then losing his train of thought. <laughs> like, oh 
my God, Ben Shapiro show today is hilarious. And then you got this news article about the Sturgis rally, which the stats are complete bullshit, acting like it's red versus blue instead of just people at this rally. There's no way to prove these facts and figures, but if you just look at what's reposted and fucking lash out, you're part of the problem, not part of the solution. Please do more research. Please try to pay attention and know that there's a deception out there and there's a fucking war on for your mind. It's a pretty hard day to do crispy fucking jokes, but let's just do the best that we can to remember the people that died on 9-11 and all the people that acted heroic that day and in the many, many years and days right after and try to enjoy our life. Big Blue!